Hello Healthians, my name is Surya Manoharan. I am a sports nutritionist and founder of Surya's NutriCare, a sports and wellness clinic based in Bangalore. Kefine, kefine, kefine. If you're a professional athlete or someone related to sports, I am pretty sure you have come across this word one way or the other. Today we are going to debunk what it is, how it affects our body, which athletes are benefited out of it, is it safe to use, and if yes, how to use it. And there is an important note for all you athletes out there by the end of the video, so stay tuned. What is caffeine? Caffeine is a chemical compound found in tea and coffee, which we consume as beverage. A single cup of coffee contains somewhere around 100 to 200 mg of caffeine, and tea contains somewhere around 40 to 100 mg of caffeine. Now, the mg of caffeine present in a particular drink depends upon the coffee bean and the tea leaves and method of preparation. Science behind the effect of caffeine in our body. There's a lot of terminology that's going to come up, so please stay with me. It acts as adenosine receptor antagonist. What does it mean? I'm sure you guys have heard about ATP, adenosine triphosphate. It is energy currency in our body. When we are exercising, ATP increases in our body. And after it increases, it goes and gets attached to the brain receptors. Once it's get attached to the brain receptor, it sends a signal to muscle and we feel fatigue. What caffeine essentially does is, it doesn't allow ATP to get attached to the brain receptor, because of which we feel more energetic and alert. It also increases the heart rate and muscle contraction, which means the blood supply to muscle is higher, which is very important in, in intense sports. So now we will talk about whether it is safe to use right which is a very important question in most of our mind yes it is safe to use and uh, for kids who are 13 and above it is advisable and adults can use it of course uh, but it should be under the supervision of a sports nutritionist because in my practice i see four out of ten people having side effects some of the side effects that it can cause is stomach discomfort sleep disruption anxiety increase in heart rate and jitteriness uh, but on an average, I don't see much of the effects. So it is a safe and a tested supplement. Now let's discuss about which athletes are benefited out of this. Cyclists, runners and swimmers can increase their performance by 2-4%. to 4 Now this is a lot when it comes to competition. And all my swimmer friends out there know the importance of milliseconds. Some of the other sports which it will help is also where it requires sudden burst of energy and quick thinking. For example, um, combat sports, football, volleyball, uh, even these athletes are benefited from caffeine. One of the uh, thing you need to note about caffeine is it can reach threshold. Now what I mean by is, if we overuse it, uh, it will stop showing the positive effect. It will get so used to, the body gets so used to it that it will stop showing the positive effect. So it is very important, even if it works for you, to use it during competition or intense workout days. And the way it affects each and every individual is different because it is mainly dependent on the genetics. So we all metabolize it different and the effects can be different from one individual to the another. Okay, now let's discuss about the dosage and the way it has to be taken, which is very important. Uh, 2 to 3 mg per kg body weight is what is recommended. So for example, if you're 60 kgs and if you're starting with a lower dose of 2 mg, you should be taking 120 mg of caffeine and you should be taking this 30 to 45 minutes prior to your workout or training because this is when the concentration of caffeine peaks in our blood and at most benefit is seen around this time. Uh, also, one more point that I would like to add over here is it's better not to take caffeine post 6 p.m. because let's do a small math. The half-life of caffeine is 4 to 6 hours. So even if you're taking 200 mg of caffeine uh, post 6 p.m., still 100 mg of caffeine is present in your system in midnight, which will not allow you to have a sound sleep. Now let's discuss the main thing that I told in the initial part of the video where there is a special note for all you athletes out there. That is, uh, from 1984 to 2000, caffeine was banned by IOC and BADA, International Olympic Committee and World Anti-Doping Agency. 
Now it is allowed, but it is controlled. That is, if they found out in a dope test that you have 12 milligrams of caffeine per milliliter of urine, then you will be banned. But don't worry, uh, that will require high dosage of caffeine, maybe more than 600, like somewhere around 1000 mg, which is way above the recommended uh, range. So you don't have to worry about it. I hope this clears the air regarding the caffeine. Uh, if you have any doubts, please comment below. I would be happy to reply to them. If you like the video, follow, subscribe for more such contents. Thank you.